So now in this video, I thought we would take a look at a component I think is kind of cool I always did. And my first video, I just showed one of these changing colors. And I didn't say anything. It took me a little while to get used to talking on camera. But in any case, you can see it's an LED. Its light is changing. So it has red, green, and blue LEDs. And based on which ones are lit up and how much they are lit up, the color changes. So this is a slow flashing or blinking LED, whichever you want to uh, call it. That one was slow. This one is fast. And uh, it's a little dark, so having a little trouble seeing where uh, the uh, spots to plug it in is. But uh, there you can see there is a faster one. So it does kind of a, a medium speed and then a, a really fast flash like that. So one thing, I've never actually seen this, I don't think. But uh, let's do it with the uh, slower one. I think that kind of looks better on camera. So we have here a coin battery, 3 volt coin battery. And people take these 3 volt, three volt coin batteries. And I try to make sure it doesn't short circuit. There's a plus right there. That's the long lead of the anode. And you can put the LED directly to that. So let's try to spread out the legs a little. There we go. So you could uh, tape that and then some people they uh, tape the legs onto there and then they glue or tape a magnet on there and I heard they throw it up you know like into the ceiling or something and uh, looks like uh, uh, that doesn't really look well it's kind of distorting the three lights you can't really tell on camera but uh, they would take magnets and throw it up to a higher up metal area and it would st uh, stick up there and you'd see a different color light uh, changing over periods of time. So I think those are called throws. Now another thing with uh, LEDs is uh, I see this from time to time. I have these male to female jumpers right here. And so we got uh, the male there and then uh, the female there. And so we will... Uh, keep using the resistor. I'm using a 5 volt power supply here, 220 ohm resistor. So we put the red one there and we have a blue male to female jumper here and so we're going to put that to the negative rail that I have a jumper there and uh, there we go. I think this is the slow LED so short lead now we will put the blue one right there and then the long lead we'll use the red jumper right there so as I said these these came in a couple LED kits that I got and so I think they come in a number of kits and so when you're looking at uh, LED kits I I suggest that you look for these now I do have one kit that uh, I think I bought a couple kits that are marked really well but this is the one that I got these two out of and I didn't want to hide the LED. But you can see here that we have the 5 millimeter slow flash. It tells you the forward voltage. And, or the, uh, the current, that's the maximum current. And it does show the uh, voltage. So, right there you can expect these to block 2.2 to uh, 3.4 volts. No, that's 3.2 to uh, 3.4 volts. It's kind of small writing and uh, so the uh, the red LED right there 1.9 volts to 2.1 volt and then white is a uh, 3.2 to 3.4 volts so that's the voltage it blocks when it's forward biased it's set to conduct and light up so this has some nice information on it I recommend getting a nice LED uh, kit and uh, testing out the electrical properties and uh, other stuff and seeing how they look and I think on camera some look better than others you'll see some of these colors here I had to make adjustments to to my camera to uh, get the lighting nice but in any case I may have rambled on a little too long in this video but uh, hopefully you still enjoyed it all uh, thanks for watching I will see you in the next video